What's up everybody? So glad to be back for another compost vlog. <clears throat> uh, it's going to be another special today. Um, we're actually going to be out in the in the front garden. Uh, currently studying my my garage, uh, getting ready for the vlog. Uh, I think everyone's going to really enjoy this, enjoy this, especially sort of my uh, my sort of uh, fan base. You know, right from way back when, just when the channel was getting started, and we uh, didn't really know what we were about. What we were about, but if there's anything uh, I think that's going to save this planet, along with uh, uh, obviously compost, um, if anything's going to save this planet, I'll tell you, it's going to be a well-functioning, uh, well-functioning car. Because if your uh, your car isn't working properly, you won't be able to um, drive around and get stuff to uh, look after your compost bin. So I'm going to be working on the car today, uh, making sure that um, it all works properly so I can uh, keep doing my compost vlog. Okay, let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's go to Fabia, uh, 1.4 diesel. Um, I mean, that's partly down to you guys. Um, obviously, if there was if you've done a bit more work to promote the channel for me, I could be driving a better car. In fact, I could probably have given you guys some cars by now, um, which which I will do if you uh, want to share this channel and um, promote promote what we're doing here a bit more. Um, yeah, let's do a car giveaway. Car giveaway at um, one million subs. Um, so what we need to do first to do the job. We need to get this wheel off and I'll come back to you when I've got it off. Okay, so the wheel's off now. Chucked it under there in case the uh, little jack fails. Uh, so you can get a better view of what's going on here now. I need to get this nut here to move separately to this thing here and I need to get this thing to move separately to this bar that threads into both of them so the thread is quite corroded already what I've done is try and clean it up new the threads is give first I give it a good scrub with the uh, wire brush see if I could remove any really loose uh, dirt debris and then Put in with a Stanley knife, and I've just run it in the threads just to try and sort of recut them essentially and turn them back more to their original shape. Get rid of um, get rid of some of the rust. So now I'm going to spray this with WD-40 and see if I can twist this nut off here. So back in a sec. Okay, so step one has been achieved. You see. A little bit of persuasion, I'm moving this bottom bit here. And you can see that that nut's actually not moving with it at all. However, see that's just moving the threads with it at the same time. You see that? That's it. So that's actually quite good. It means this lower part's already freed up. And I've actually got quite a small job on really to try and release this nut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a spanner on the uh, hex part of that tie rod. Can't see it. Um, and then I'm gonna see, see if they come free. I can't film it while I'm doing it because uh, I've only got two hands. I've actually rested this spanner here on there, so I can show you which one I've got. I can try and show you. No matter how hard I turn this nut to try and drive it up the thread, absolutely nothing happening. So obviously when I move it that way, the whole bar moves as you can see, but when I try and turn it with the spanner in place, it's not happening. So. Not sure what to do. If you've got any ideas of how to fix this, let me know down in the comments below. 
um, and uh, any good suggestions I'll pick one at random and you can come and have a go on the car well I hope you've left a, a comment there below but um, either way uh, I actually already know how to get this uh, this nut off it's going to be pretty exciting um, pretty uh, pretty hot if you uh, if you get what I'm saying um, yeah I think it's time I'm going to show you let me show you this uh, this hot stuff yeah it's uh, it's a bit of propane oh yeah it's going to get things really hot in here So I'm just going to do that for a few minutes and we'll see if it means we can move that nut. Uh, if you pause the video now, let me know in the uh, comments below if you think this is going to work or not. Or you Also comment if you think I'm just going to uh, set fire to part of the car. Okay. okay. That's been about two minutes of heat, I'd say. Let's see if we can move this thing now. Look at that. Totally free. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin it towards me as much as I can. See if I can clean up the thread that would have been sat right under it. And then try and back it off a bit more. And then take it back to the garage to get actually tracked properly. That's it now. All oiled up. If you can pick that up, but some of the oil is still evaporating off the surface. Anyway, oh, I was going to show you how free the nut is, but I must have just run it onto some rust there. But that's much further up than it'll need to go. See how free it is now. Yeah, well, it's loose enough. Right, I'm going to uh, put this back to where I think it was. Um, take it for a test drive and see how badly the car now pulls one way or another. So this here is just sort of the oil is stripped down from where I was working uh, and what will happen is that will slowly get washed uh, into these sort of joints in between the block paving and that will actually sort of be really good for the soil and the bacteria in the ground so you know you don't have to be at your compost heat to be, um, to be helping um, nature and uh, in your garden uh, but I didn't, bet you didn't think I'd uh, leave you guys a whole video without uh, at least one sight of the compost bin. I've just found uh, these apple cores in the centre console in the car. Probably been there all weekend. Probably actually Friday and the weekend, but don't need to go to waste. We can uh, pop them in the old bin. So I'm probably due another video fairly soon because... Uh, I didn't really think this would happen, but there is absolutely, look at that, that is a solid pile of beautiful compost. It doesn't go that far up, but that is, uh, that is dense. Oh, look at the worm action. Hello. Um, anyway, let's, let's get these apple cores in the top. 
So let's see what's happening in the bin. Wowzers, that is uh, moist in there. Good moist though, not, not, not a bad moist. Just the kind of moist that you, you want to see in your compost bin. Uh, got a good mix of food and uh, organic matter. It's all organic, isn't it? Uh, grass. Pop the apple cores in. There's loads of little flies in here, which is uh, fantastic signs of life. A circle of life, you know. Car, compost, flies. Okay, let's leave that to rot down and uh, come back to it in another video. Okay, so I hope you uh, enjoyed that video. Everybody, uh, if you have, obviously you know by now how to engage with the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll try and get videos out to you uh, more frequently. Um, but yeah, other than that, good luck with composting and uh, good luck with your cars. Remember, Cars are important for saving the planet. Okay, see you guys next time.